Hello and welcome back to yet another video. I know this video is coming a little too late. It's only 10.30 at night and I'm right now shooting it. I may not be able to edit this video but I promise that today's video will surely come. So in this video I'm gonna talk about the top 7 Arduino shields that you must know and must integrate in your Arduino project if you're working as an engineering student or even at an enterprise level. So the first shield that I have is very famous shield that is the GSM. So what is the GSM shield? So suppose if you want to create an Arduino project that involves the application of a SIM card or more specifically if you want to use a mobile network. So what you do is you, take, you buy this GSM shield, put it on an Arduino and then this shield has a slot for um, SIM card then you can actually have an interconnectivity of your actually Arduino with the SIM card. Also what you can do is you can also create an entire smartphone with it. Kids do it a lot. I suggest you to make a project on it. The second one is your micro SD card. Now we all know that Arduino doesn't have much space. So if you're uh, working on a project that requires a little more space, what you could actually do is use this micro SD shield and uh, increase your Arduino's memory space. The third one is NFC slash RFID shield. Now this is the shield that I really use a lot in my graduation while I used to make projects. It's a shield that actually uh, can read the values from your NFCs, NFC chips and your RFIDs. They are really cool. NFCs are quite used a lot these days. Your Delhi Metro uses a lot about NFC. So consider working on this module. The fourth one is your camera shield. Now, personally, I've never used this camera shield because I had a Raspberry Pi and I used to do on it. But if you want to have an Arduino that uses uh, some cameras, functionalities, you can use this shield. And yeah, if you want to save the pictures that you click, maybe you can use a, a micro SD shield too. The fifth one is your GPS shield. Now, uh, it's quite expensive. All the shields that I'm talking about are quite expensive. So GPS shield is one of the most expensive after GSM. You actually get the simple, as simple as the word says, it gives you the location of your Arduino. More if you want to do it, you can put it on a bicycle and then actually track it or you put it in a car. So you can use it, use it for logistic based projects. The sixth one is a joystick shield. Mm, I never used joystick shield personally once again, but I've seen other guys building a very cool project with joystick. It has some four buttons and you can actually control your uh, any of the program that involves the application of a pointer. You can work with a joystick shield. You can make games too, right? The first thing that you get to hear when you hear the term joystick. The last one is, <laughs> it's quite simple and I believe you must have used it if not, you must have seen at least any of the guy using it. That is your relay module shield. Um, if you want to connect your Arduino to any of the electrical appliances, what you do is you use relay module. Uh, you usually use to make the smart home based project. You connect an Arduino with an Arduino shield, then that shield can connect with an electrical devices. And now you can communicate the Arduino with the electrical devices. So those were the small ideas and the names of the projects sorry and the names of the shields that you can actually work on at you know i'll repeat it once again for you the first one is gsm the second one is micro sd the third one is nfc the fourth one is camera shield the fifth one is gps sixth is joystick and the last one is relay thank you so much once again for watching this video i know i rushed a little fast i need to upload the video thank you so much for your continued support that keeps me motivating to upload videos on every monday wednesday and friday thank you so much for watching see you in the next video